We're back at the bench, this time with a brand new Bofang that I just bought. And I wanted to like this so, so much. The UV5R, yeah, is what got me into ham radio, and I love them. So when I saw this new 5RM, I bought it on Amazon. It was like 32, 33 bucks. I bought this on December 15th. It's uh, January 11th now when I'm filming this. So I've had a chance to use this a bit. This is touted as a 10 watt tri-band radio, two meter, 220 and 70 centimeters. It's got a nice big color screen. It comes with kind of like this Nagoya-ish antenna. Uh, and it was just supposed to be the coolest thing, it's got a little uh, scanner function, which they advertise as being able to just listen for any received signal is how I understand it. And it pretty much fails on every account. So let's dive in and I'm gonna show you why not to buy this radio. Now, on the cover, just looking at this radio, this looks like a very fresh new update to the UV5R model, okay? It is nice. I, I love the way the Bofangs look. They're just rugged. You can beat the heck out of them, all that stuff. So we've got this really nice big display, probably a one and a half inch display, I'd guess. It is color. You can see it very easily indoors. The problem starts when you go outside you can hardly see this in the daytime at all. It's horrible. Then you go into the menu function and you get the menus here and they're all in red, which is really hard to read. It's just, it's not bright at all. I mean, it's pretty much the same way you would program and, and navigate any Bofang radio. It's just got a new, uh, a new, a fresh new look to it, right? So you've got your speaker mic flap here, same Kenwood style uh, thing there for your programming cable, hand mics, etc. cetera. Uh, it's got your, you know, it's got your FM radio there. I think if you long press this, it sounds out the alarm. Yep, still got that. And then you have this button here, which is gonna give you an LED light that is solid or it blinks. And then I think if you long press this, uh, yeah, it opens up the squelch there. VFO memory button, fine. This is already supported by Chirp. I, I was surprised when I bought this, when I, when I got it. I immediately hooked it up to Chirp, put all my, uh, my uh, memories in there, my repeaters and everything, uh, no problem. 999 memories versus 100 and I think 128 for the stock Bofang. So all the features are there. Another cool thing, Obviously, we have 14652. Here's my Yaesu VX7R. This is a actually a quad band radio. So we can see no problem, 14652, okay. Now let's go to 223 megahertz, whatever. This is, you don't have to unlock this or anything. This is a 220 radio. So we'll go to 223 here on the Yaesu. Keys up, no problem. Full power out, okay. And then we have UHF. So all tri-bander, okay? Advertised as a 10 watt radio on uh, two meters. I basically, the most I could get out of it was about seven and a half watts. And on 70 centimeters here, you can see we got in the eight-ish watt range. Uh, I, didn't I didn't check it on 220 uh, because I really don't care. This radio is so bad. Uh, and I'm gonna show you why. Just stay away from this radio as sexy as it looks. Here's the... 10 watts right there. Here's, uh, where's the FCC ID? That's probably some fake bogus thing that uh, they just made up and said, sure, it passes FCC. 2,500 milliamp hour battery, that's great. And also, USB-C charging. Things we want to see on a radio. Everything looks great on the surface. But wait, there's more. So Bofang sells us this tri-band radio, they only include this one antenna, so we can't really do, see it says 136 to 174, and then 400 to 520 megahertz. I realize you might not be able to see that, but that's what it says. They don't include any antenna for the one and a quarter meter band, so you're not gonna hurt your radio by transmitting on the one and a quarter band, but 
it's just not resonant. Another cool thing about this, check this out, 134800. This has AM airband reception. Another great feature that a lot of people are wanting. A lot of people are into listening to uh, the aircraft. And I took this outside. I had my talk pod next to this that also has AM airband. They received pretty much equally. The receiver on this isn't, isn't bad, but it's not great. Probably the coolest function that Bofang advertises for this radio is this green button here. If we long press this, see it says search. Right now it's searching for any UHF frequencies that it hears that are strong enough to, to break the squelch. I presume there's very little documentation in the uh, manual. If we push the pound button, we can go to VHF. If we push it again, we can go to 200 megahertz, 350 megahertz. So basically, how I understand this, this is supposed to say I'm in a new area and I wanna scan for UHF repeaters. Well, I could just long press this and when somebody keys up and a repeater is strong enough that the radio will hear, it should pull up the signal, tell you what tone is being used. You can easily save it simply by pressing the green button there, but it doesn't do it. But let's show you what it's supposed to do. And I have tried my darndest to get this to find a repeater. I took a roll up J-Pole outside, had this on scan. I'm literally listening to the repeater as this thing is scanning on UHF, doesn't pull up anything. But now watch, this is just a GMRS radio. So if we key this up, watch what happens. See, it just found the frequency 467.61.25 uh, with a digital tone of 65. So it did the thing. So what this really is, is a frequency counter. And you gotta be darn close to these radios uh, for it to pick anything up. Like I said, it ain't fine in a repeater, so forget all hopes and dreams of that happening. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out a, 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 a useful reason for this button. And I'm thinking, okay, well maybe you're with some friends, your buddy's got a radio that's already got the repeater programmed in. He just keys up, you find it, you hit the green button, you save it to a new memory channel, life is easy. But that's not how it works because when you transmit, you're transmitting on a different frequency than what the repeater listens to. So that's not very helpful, you still gotta program it. And just for giggles, let's go to uh, VFO memory, let's go to Lake Placid, that's in Florida, so I'm not gonna key up on anybody. That's a two meter repeater. So let's get out of here, let's go back. And we're gonna go to VHF, we'll key up here. Notice I'm on 147645. This picks up 147644450, so it's not even accurate. It did get the tone, but what good is this? If you transmit, you're gonna be off frequency, so it's just bad. But then I took out that, my tiny SA. Let's see how incredibly dirty this radio is. All the Bofangs in my current stock, I, this, me and the Smoke and Ape did a live stream that I'll post a link right here. We tested like 18 radios and only like two of them uh, failed. All of my Bofang UV5R variants passed the spurious emissions test. So I'm thinking, all right, Bofangs finally got their stuff together. Let's see how incredibly nasty this radio is on the spectrum. So here we go. I've got everything calibrated, set up properly with the Tiny SA Ultra. Got the attenuator in line. We're on 14652. I'm only on medium power. And let's see how completely disgusting this radio is. Takes a minute for it to run its paces and settle down here. But look at those spurious emissions. Climb and climb and climb. So our fundamental is about 34 dBm. Our second harmonic is minus 18.1. Our third harmonic is minus 51. And our fourth harmonic is minus 47. That is an absolutely filthy, these, these two ones here uh, are, are probably okay, but this second harmonic right there, uh, and that's somewhere in the 300-ish megahertz spectrum it looks like. So just a horrible, horrible, horrible radio uh, all around. So there's my public service announcement. Stay the heck away from the Bofang 5RM. It is not worth it no matter how enticing it looks. I was sucked in, but I wasted my money so you don't have to. You can thank me in the comments.